Yes. Bishop, I believe that the word of God, which creates foundation, cannot be changed. But there are people that can change the word of God and its foundation. Jim Jones was a, a, a person that changed the foundation. You know, so it can be changed depending on who is speaking and who is changing it. Because everybody, not everybody, but if you say something right, somebody will, what they think is right, somebody will follow you, whether it's true or whether it's not. Now, I don't believe that the foundation that God has laid for us can be changed. That's Jesus Christ. I don't think that foundation can be changed. But I believe that people can go in and make their own foundation by changing the things that Jesus has taught. If you are not teaching Jesus Christ and you're teaching something else, you have changed the foundation. All right. All right. All right. Praise the Lord. Yes. Y'all agree with her? Y'all agree with her? You do not agree. Yes. Okay. Um, I believe Paul also said he warned those to beware of those false teachers who come um, any other doctrine changing the foundation. You can change it, but it won't be foundation truth. Um, there's a lot of foundation, but you put truth to it. Right. Okay, so for believers, I say you can change it, but it won't be true. Because now it's another doctrine. If you're talking to the believers, if we're going to go by Paul, we're still in 2 Timothy 3 and 15. That's where it's coming from, foundational truth. Uh, you can change it, but it won't be true. 2 Timothy 1. Well, foundational truth. Um, you said 3 and 15? Yes, Second Timothy. In Second Timothy, it talks a lot about foundation. Um, uh-huh. Yes, about foundation and tr foundation truth. Mm -hmm. It also says that if anyone comes uh, to change the doctrine, it would not, it would be, I mean, it said, do not listen to people, false teachers, false doctrine, that can make a change, but it wouldn't be true to the believers. I'm talking to the believers. I'm not talking to anyone that hear it, for the believers. So when you say, can you change foundation of truth? For the believers, no. Right, Found, there's a lot of foundation, right? Uh, We're talking about to the believers. To the believer. Right. Can can the foundation truth be changed? Oh, Fo no. Foundational truths. Foundational truths. Can they be changed? To the that's for the believers. You you addressing that to the believers, right? You're addressing that to the church, not to the corporate world. Oh. Um, I, uh, if I, if, all right, <laughs> let me see how can I answer you. Um, I think this foundational truth uh, is unilateral and it covers everybody. See, um, if it's a truth, to the church is still a truth to the world. Yes. Even if the world don't believe it. Yes. You all got what I'm saying? Yes. If it's truth, if it's truth. So, <laughs> can foundational truth be changed?
Um, I, I ain't gonna be able to wait on y'all. Um, <laughs> yes. Now, Pastor, what I got from my phone is um, the foundation serves not only as the starting point, merely as the basis for knowledge of the truth of existence. But thinking is the process of growing, I mean, is, is the process of proving the validity of knowledge, but not provide, not proving the rationality of the foundation from which knowledge is shaped. Achieving the truth means understanding the the foundation. Sir? Yes. All right, go ahead. You are true about what you just said. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> it's like this. Hallelujah. All right. All right. I want to say what I said. Yes. Yes. Y'all, come on now. Y'all holding me up. Ma'am, y'all come on, y'all holding me up. Well, Bishop, I, I don't believe that foundational truth, we're talking about the foundation of truth of, of, of the word of God, of what Jesus established when he was here on this earth, and what he have allowed the apostles to establish. Those truths cannot be changed on any level. It is still true. There is no other name by which men shall be saved, but at the name of Jesus. That is never going to change, never. That is a foundational truth that has, it is going to be in place forever. And anything else that's not true is a lie. We're talking about the foundation that was, was laid. Jesus said that, you know, if we come unto him, all ye that labor and heavy laden will find rest. That's a truth that's not going to change. There's, people have tried to find rest all over outside of Jesus, but true rest is in the truth of his word. And that's why he said we shall know the truth, and the truth shall make us free. So it is it, that truth, if we change it, then how are we going to be free? You have to know the truth of his word, the truth of his word. And, and, and I don't believe that it can be changed on any level. Otherwise, now he said, he said, if an angel, if an angel come from heaven and speak anything else, let him be accursed, other than what has already been established by him. That's just me. I can't quote scripture in verse like I want to, that's why I was taking my time. But I firmly believe that the foundation of the words of Jesus Christ that he said, when he told Peter, and upon this rock, I built my church, will never change. That's just me. All right, all right, foundational truth, foundation truth, foundation truth, can it be changed? Now, uh, whenever we got the question, um, you put the mic back up there. I thought you was getting ready to tell us the answer, Bishop, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bishop. I'm sorry, Bishop. I'm sorry, Praise the Lord. All right, oh, Father, where we, we got this question from is that um, we was in, in, in uh, class last week and uh, there was a, a, a teacher who was teaching uh, the class that I was in and uh, he says that there was some individuals who were uh, tied up in a relation, uh, in a relationship, and uh, uh, one of the group, he uh, turned down, but the other the two individuals, uh, because of their longevity in the church, hallelujah, 
uh, he went on and performed uh, what they asked him to do. Uh, wow. And I, uh, I, I come to conclude, can foundational truth, can it be changed or altered? Uh, and that means if, uh, uh, if we have, uh, if we have, let me put it this way, uh, how can I put it? Get myself in a jam, now how can I put it? If we have, if we have two people who are not uh, qualified uh, uh, to get married, and because of I love them both and they are dear to me, um, can I look beyond foundation truth or the truth of the word and still perform that way? Or I have to say, um, I'm sorry, I can't do it. The foundational truth changes. So it is in the church. Beg your pardon? So it is in the church. That's a church truth. Well, that's that's a that's a that's in the church. That's a truth uh whether it's in church or out of church. Huh? All right, all right. Y'all, 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 all right. Big one. No, listen. Um, and Jesus said, or oh, God said, in the beginning, He made the male and female, female and male. He made them. So He made the male, He made the female for the male. Praise God. He didn't make male for male. And it didn't make female for female. Can this be changed? This is a foundation truth. This is a foundation truth. Now, I don't care how much I love you. Praise the Lord. Uh, um, uh, me and uh, uh, the other brothers or uh, other sisters or whatever. Praise the Lord. Can, can this foundation truth be changed? Now, if you said, oh, second marriages and so forth like that, um, that can be altered and changed for the simple reason. It depends upon why you got divorced, or why you got married. All right. You married somebody first time, and your first marriage, and your husband beat your head. Uh, he cheated and he did every kind of thing like that. And he just ate, beat you for breakfast. Told me I'm gonna get you for lunch. <laughs> Promise you for supper. Hallelujah. Now, um, I would be less than a preacher to tell you to go back in and go ahead and get you beaten for supper. Praise God. That, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be sensible. Praise God. Y'all got what I'm saying? No, that's that's not good. And Jesus did put in the scripture. He said, "Except it be for fornication." That means you can get divorced, except, but it has to be because of fornication. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, when fornication is the thing that breaks the vow, praise the Lord. You have a you have a vow between you and Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He went on and got somebody else that breaks the vow. Right. Oh, have mercy. Now. Uh, but that's, that's, I'm talking about foundational truth. I was not talking about that. I'm talking about foundational truth. Yes. Truth like this. Uh, turn to the book of, turn to the book of, turn to the book of, let me see, uh, Psalms, 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 mm. Psalms 102 and verse 25. Psalms 102 and verse 25. 
Okay. Yeah. Yes. Ready? Psalm 102.25. Of old hast thou laid the foundation of the earth. Hold on a minute. Read that. Um, oh, bro, could you turn her mic down a little bit? So, because her, her mic is louder than mine. Yeah. Yeah. So she ain't supposed to be louder than me, right? <laughs> <laughs> of all, thou hast laid the foundation of the earth. Say that one more time. Of all, hast thou laid the of foundation old, of all, 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 the foundation of the earth. God laid the foundation of all, uh -huh. he laid the foundation of the earth. Can this be changed? That's the truth. Praise the Lord. He laid the foundation. And it wasn't done yesterday. And it wasn't done day before yesterday. It was a whole. He has laid the foundation. And what else? And the heavens and the works of thy hand. And the heavens and the earth are the works of his hand. That's the truth. Praise the Lord. He put the heavens up there. He put the uh, world out there. Amen. These are the works of God. Yes. Who can change this? That's the truth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's 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 a foundational truth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now let's let's go briefly to the book of um 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 the book uh, uh, turn to the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter um, uh, 20, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, Deuteronomy uh, chapter, what did it say? Chapter 32 and verse 22, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 22. For a fire is kindled. For a fire is kindled. In my anger. In my anger. Uh, what is happening here? When God get angry, he kindles a fire. Praise the Lord. When God get angry, he turns the fire up. <laughs> when God get angry, he kindles a fire. Uh -huh. Read it. And shall burn unto the lowest hell. And it, it's going to burn to the lowest hell. It's going to burn, amen, to the lowest hell. Read And do what? And consume the earth with her increase. And he's going to consume the earth with his increase. This is a foundational truth. Praise the Lord. Amen. Nothing angers God and God don't do nothing about it when he get ready to do something about it. All right. All right. And when he start doing something about it, nobody can stop him or stay his hand. Because he, hallelujah, if he started it, he going to finish it. Praise the Lord. Lord have mercy. This is the truth. I don't care how much you like, don't like it. I don't like what's happening to me. Ain't a thing you can do about it. Because God is the one that does it. All right. Turn briefly to the book of, um, uh, let's go back to Psalms chapter 24 and verse 1 and 2. Uh, chapter 20, I mean, Psalms 24, 1 and 2. Listen what he says. The, this is a this is a foundational truth. The earth is the Lord's. Who who the earth belong to? It certainly don't belong to man. The earth is the Lord's. He's the one spoke and the earth came into existence. The earth is the Lord's. And what? And the fullness thereof. Everything in here belongs to God. Nobody, no man can say such and such a thing is mine. No, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. The world and they that dwell therein. This is a foundational truth. Praise the Lord. Read. This, this is what he done. He founded it. Way about. He founded it. The the earth is laid on the seas. There's water underneath the earth. Oh, yeah. 
God laid the earth on water. Praise the Lord. This is a foundational truth. He founded it on the seas. Uh huh. And established it upon the flood. And he established it upon the floods. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. There's there's water all there's, there's water underneath you and there's water above you. You lack a bubble. Praise the Lord. There's water all around you. Hallelujah. And all God got to do is just turn the water loose and you drowned it. Hallelujah. Just like he did, praise the Lord, during, during the time of who? Noah. Noah time, praise the Lord. Water was coming up from up and water was coming from down. That's right. Praise the Lord. He went down and pulled the stop up yes. and the water started shooting up. Praise the Lord. Move the cloud, move his hands and water started coming down. Water was coming up and water was coming down. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's a foundational truth. Right. Read. Who shall ascend into the hill? All right. Praise the Lord. Now, this is this is a truth of God. Hallelujah. And we and ain't nobody can do nothing about it. All right. Ain't nobody can do nothing but say amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. All right. Now, let me show you something else. Uh, the, 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 um, let me show you something else. Uh, Isaiah chapter 28. Let me show you something. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 16. Isaiah 28. I mean, I'm sorry. Isaiah, I'm, I'm so excited. Isaiah 28. And start at the 15th verse. Because you have said, 28 and 15, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 28 and 15. Because ye have said. Now, hold on a minute. Because you have said. We have made a covenant with death. You, we have made a covenant with death. And with hell. And with hell. And we have an agreement. You made a covenant with death and you made a covenant with hell. We have an agreement, death and hell. Praise the Lord. I ain't going to bother you and you ain't going to bother me. We have an agreement here. Read. When the overflowing scourge of the earth shall come upon the earth. You, you should mind. You should mind. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through. When trouble start coming. When tribulation start coming. When God stir up his hand. Read. It shall not come unto us. It shall not come unto us. That's what they say. Praise the Lord. When trouble come, it ain't, it's going to bypass us. When trouble start coming, praise the Lord, we, it ain't going to touch us. It's going to touch my enemy. It ain't going to bother me because I have an agreement with death and hell. Read. For we have made lies our refuge. Well, we have made lies our refuge. We tried to change the truth. Wow. Praise the Lord. And we sold ourselves a bunch of untrue stuff. When God start moving, he ain't going to, he ain't going to pass you up. Mm. Hallelujah. If you are wrong, the, move, the movement of God is going to pass on you too. The judgment of God is going to pass on you too. If you are in the church and, 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 and don't want to obey what God says, when judgment falls, it's going to fall on you too. Lord have mercy. You can't say, well, I made an agreement with death. I made an agreement with hell. Amen. That it's going to be all right. No, 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 no. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Hallelujah. God is just and God is fair. Hallelujah. You can't do unjust and feel like that you're going to get back. Well, you can feel like that, but you ain't going to get back. You might get away, but you ain't going to get back. Hallelujah. You got to learn to do right by everybody. Hallelujah. Read them. 
And under falsehood, we have hid ourselves. And under falsehood, we have hid ourselves. We, we got a covering, but the covering is not of God. All right. Praise the Lord. We pulled some stuff over our face, hallelujah, but it wasn't God. Right. Hallelujah. We pulled some stuff over our feet, but it was not God. Yes. Because in these days, our, our, if we pull our cover over our head, our feet is going to show. Yes. And if you, and if you, hallelujah, and if you pull it over your, uh, over your feet, your head is going to show. Praise the Lord. Your cover is going to be too short. Yes. The only thing going to cover you is the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. That's right. Praise. Somebody say praise the Lord. This is a foundational truth. Mm. And it talks about, hey, let's turn briefly to the book. Uh, let's go to Isaiah 8 and 14. Hold on. 8 and 14. And he shall be for a sanctuary. And we shall be for a sanctuary. But, uh, no, hold on, hold on. Uh, read the, 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 the fifth, uh, the thirteenth verse. Sanctify the Lord of hosts himself. Sanctify the Lord of hosts himself. And let him be your fear. And let sanctify the Lord himself. himself. In other words, Keep God clean in you. Wow. Stay right with God in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sanctify means to do what? Do what? Sanctify means what? When you... Sanctify means to do what? Yes. Mean, it means to set, it, it means to be set apart for, for the master's use. Praise the Lord. I'm, I'm set myself apart from the world for the master's use. Glory to God. I don't let everything come out of my mouth. I don't let everything come into my mind. I don't let everything dwell in my body. Even now, you can say what you want to say, but you cannot stop the bird from flying across your head. But you don't have to let him make a nest in your hair. You, you can run him out from your head. Praise God. All you got to do is rebuke him. Rebuke the devil and he'll flee from you. Praise the Lord. But if you pet him, he's going to stay with you. But you got to be able to open your mouth and rebuke that devil. And you have to be sincere when you rebuke the devil. You can't rebuke him and don't mean it. Hallelujah. You got to mean what you say. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's right. Don't play with it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't, hallelujah. Don't let him feel like you're playing with him. Rebuke the devil because I, this body has to be set apart for the use of God. I don't know when I'm going to have to pray. I don't know when I'm going to have to call the name of Jesus. I don't know when I'm going to have to preach or teach. Hallelujah. I don't know when I'm going to have to lay hands. So I got to keep myself set apart for the master's use. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, yeah. glory to God. Yeah. When you, when you, hallelujah, Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. Read them, read them. And let him be your fear, and, and let him be your dread. Now, hold on a minute. When, when you sit upon, let God be your fear. In other words, let him be the one you respect. Yes. Hallelujah. I know, praise the Lord, you may not see him, but I know he's watching me. It's dark on the outside, hallelujah, and ain't nobody here but us, but God is looking at us. He is the silent listener at every conversation, hallelujah, and he, hallelujah, he's the unseen guest at every meal, praise the Lord. So when I'm eating, I know he's sitting right here by me. I feel him in my spirit. In, in other words, I feel God right now, y'all. 
He's here. I feel the God right here, right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You may not see him, but I feel him right now. Hallelujah. I know he's here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So in our spirit, we have to sanctify ourselves right now. You can't allow yourself to be thinking all kinds of ways. You can't allow stuff to lodge in your mind that's not like God. You got to learn how to get there and rebuke stuff from you. Satan, you can't, li you can't live here. Get out of here. Stop me from thinking like that. The blood of Jesus is against you. I refuse to think like that. Lord have mercy. Yo, come on, I feel something happening. Somebody say, praise the Lord. You got to keep yourself from thinking crazy. You, you, every night and then, things, thoughts are coming in your mind about somebody. Hallelujah. About your sisters and brothers. You got to learn how to rebuke yourself. Hallelujah. Because yourself will send you to hell. Because you're thinking about people, praise the Lord, and they don't even, they don't, they don't even, they ain't got you on their mind. You think like people got something against you and ain't nobody got you on your mind. So you have to learn how to rebuke yourself. Lord, I feel the presence of the Lord. Read them. Hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just bring somebody's hands and sanctify the Lord in your body. Hallelujah. Sanctify him in your spirit. Sanctify him in your soul. Praise the Lord. Mm, hallelujah. When you sanctify the Lord in your spirit, you don't worry about who watching you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In other words, you invite them to look at me. Watch me walk down the street. Get up behind that car and hide if you want to. Praise the Lord. It's all right. Slip up home if you want. It's all right. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I got God sanctified in me. Come on, glory to God. Hallelujah. I ain't going to be doing nothing, praise the Lord, if you run up on me. I get scared or something like that. No, praise the Lord. Come on in here. I got God sanctified in me. Hallelujah, Lord have mercy. Jesus, Lord Jesus. When it get like this, I don't mind breaking the devil. Hallelujah. I know it's going to be on me. Where are you going next? Come on, I'm talking about foundational truth. Yes, yes, Lord. Priest, see, when you live right, it doesn't matter who watch you. Steph, if they come to your job, come to your house, it doesn't matter. You want some water? Open the refrigerator. You ain't gonna see no Budweiser, no they sick of stuff and all that stuff in my refrigerator. Come on, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. You ain't gonna find stuff in there that you shouldn't find. Teach your good Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Come on, glory to God. Hallelujah. Anytime we can come on to the house, open the door. Come on in. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you got a listening advice, come on, put the li listening advice to the door. You ain't gonna hear no pans flying through the air. You ain't gonna hear nobody screaming and hollering. Praise the Lord. We ain't fighting in the house. But we have sanctified the Lord in us. Hallelujah. There's some stuff we ain't gonna do. Hallelujah. This ran somebody hands says there's some stuff we ain't gonna do. See, a lot of y'all feel like that God don't see you because you don't see him. He got his eyes on you. The eyes of the Lord roll through and fro through the earth, seeking whom he may devour. That's Satan. Hallelujah. But God walks through the earth. He looking to see who is strong in the earth. Hallelujah. Come on, read them. And he shall be for a sanctuary. And he shall be for a sanctuary. A sanctuary means, praise the Lord, a place of dwelling. Yes. I'm going to be a, a sanctuary. I want to be a sanctuary. Yes. I want God to dwell in my house. Yes. 
That means, praise the Lord, this is your house. Your body, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You ought not be doing stuff in your body that you are ashamed of. You ought not be doing nothing in your body with your body, praise the Lord, that you are afraid that God will catch you when you when he come and find you and condemn you. Whatever you're doing in your body, you ought to be able to welcome God in your house. You shouldn't be cussing everybody out. Praise the Lord because ain't nobody there but you. Shouldn't be telling folk where to go. Praise the Lord. And ain't nobody there but you. You have sanctified the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, your body is a sanctuary. Lord, I can't drive this home enough. Praise him. Grab somebody hand and tell them my body is a sanctuary. In other words, it's a place where God dwells. Steph, God dwells in here. Early in the morning, God is in there. Late at night, God is in there. Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Have mercy. Read this. Have this. Glory to God. Read them. Where you at? He shall be for a sanctuary, but for a stone of stumbling. Now, praise the Lord. He shall be for a dwelling place, mm -hmm. a stone of stumbling. And for a rock of offense to the both houses. To a rock? But for a stone, a stone of stumbling. Uh -huh. And for a rock of offense to both the houses of Israel uh -huh. for a gin and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. He's, he's talking about, praise the Lord, if you will know very closely, in the house of Israel, praise the Lord, Israel, and it talks about two houses. And the, 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 the two houses represent Abraham. Abraham before he was circumcised and after he was circumcised. When he was circumcised, hallelujah, he be, this became his identity that he was a child of God. Circumcision. Before he was circumcised, praise the Lord, his identity that he belonged to God is that he believed God. He had faith in God. Lord have mercy. And then and it comes down the line until Jesus came. Hallelujah. Now back before then, hallelujah, it was the Gentiles who, hallelujah, did not have the seal of circumcision. Right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But they believed God. Yeah. The ones that believed God, hallelujah, all they had was faith in God. And that's what you got to have, praise the Lord, because we are Gentiles, hallelujah, we have to have faith in God. The seal of circumcision was, of the flesh was not given to us, but it was given to the Jewish folk. Praise the Lord. And now, what was given to you and I, praise the Lord, was grace and truth. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. You have, you have faith in God. Now you are saved through what? Faith. Through faith. Hallelujah. You are saved through faith. Yes. If you don't believe God, you'll never get in. Yeah. If you don't believe God, you'll never get saved. If you don't believe God, you'll never enjoy the richness of Abraham. Lord have mercy. If you don't believe God, hallelujah, you're going to be lost. You got to come to God by faith. By faith, hallelujah. You got to believe now, hallelujah, that the God of Abraham, hallelujah, is my Savior. Hallelujah. You got to believe that Jesus died on the cross for me. 
You gotta believe, hallelujah, that hallelujah, 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 that he went to hell and that hallelujah, that he came out of there. Praise the Lord, and that Jesus rose again for my justification. Glory to God. Come on, glory to Jesus. Somebody say, praise the Lord. You gotta believe it. Hallelujah. Now come on now. Praise the Lord. Do what you wanna do. Say what you will or may. But before you get healed, you gotta believe that Jesus is the one. That... Jesus is the one Lord. Hallelujah. Read though. And many among them shall stumble. And many of them shall stumble. That's what's happening now. Praise the Lord. They don't believe, so they stumble. Unbelief causes you to stumble. Hallelujah. Unbelief causes you to stumble because, first of all, you got to believe something you can't see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to believe something. Oh, God. Lord, I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Praise the Lord. You gotta believe something, hallelujah, that you only heard about. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You gotta grab a hold of something. And the, and the scripture said, Blessed is the man who believeth and has not seen. Glory to God. You, you, hallelujah. You are blessed when you can push past unbelief. Hallelujah. You get my course, Lord God. And if you are really, really, praise the Lord, and hooked up to God, when you can push past stuff that's shooting after you, that there ain't no God. Hallelujah. And you push past that stuff and look at the flowers in the meadows. And there's something that's causing these flowers to grow. Hallelujah. You look at the grass, hallelujah, and say something got a green coat on this grass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. You got you can take the most safe time. You gotta look past what you see and see what you can't see. Hallelujah. And say there is a God. Hallelujah. No one have mercy, because in the in hallelujah, in my conscious mind, praise the Lord, in my conscious mind, I can see God. Yet I can't see him in my natural eye, but I can see him in my spiritual eye. No, just like I can feel him now. Come on. Come on. No. This is the confidence we have in him. Whatever we ask of him, he heareth us. And if we, if we believe that he heareth us, he will grant us our petition. God is going to give it to you. Hallelujah. Come on now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't believe that God is going to cause me to suffer like I'm suffering. Hallelujah. I believe. Let me tell you what I believe. I believe. Hallelujah. I'm, I, I may not have nothing tonight. But I believe before I leave up out of here. God is going to give me something. Come on. Bring them. I don't believe. Hallelujah. I don't, I don't believe. That what some of us have tonight, we're going to have to die with what we have. Come on now. Come on now. Praise the Lord. Your, your, your leg may be hurting now. Your belly may be hurting now. Praise the Lord. You might have pain all in your body. But that's not the thing going to kill you. That's not the thing going to take you out of here. You got to believe that there is a healing for me. Lord have mercy. Jesus, I need somebody to help me tonight. Don't y'all do me like that. Praise the Lord. Just grab somebody's hand and tell them, I believe that there's a healing for me. I don't believe it's going to be like this always. Hallelujah. I believe God going to give me some strength to preach like I want to preach. to the book of Hebrews chapter 1 Hebrews chapter 1 foundation hallelujah the foundation hallelujah read foundation Hebrews Hebrews chapter 1 hallelujah Hebrews chapter 1 and verse let's say 9 thou hast loved righteousness and thou you you thou has loved righteousness God 
love righteousness. Now, the word righteous doesn't mean salvation. It doesn't mean that you say it. The word righteous mean a continuation of right. Are y'all still with me? No. God loves for an individual to keep on doing right. Even if you don't see your way out, but you got to keep on doing right. Even though you're having trouble, bro, but you got to keep on doing right. Since you've you, you got all kinds of stuff shooting at you, but you got to keep on doing that which is right. God loves righteousness. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Jesus. Jesus. And hated iniquity. I'm sorry. I distracted. And hated iniquity. I may have to give me another reason. I'm sorry. Thanks, sister. Sister Paige, she get happy reading. Get lost in it. And here's another one. I'm sorry. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. I have done what? I have loved righteousness. I have loved righteousness. And hated iniquity. And he said, I hate iniquity. Iniquity is hidden sin. Stuff you do under cover. You know you don't like me. But you got to cover it up. You got to camouflage. You got people who don't like one another and worship together. Yes, right. Amen. Let me say that again. Yes, sir. That's a good word. Amen. Amen. Try it up. Praise God. Yes, you have people who worship together yes. but can't stand one another guts. Yes. You get on my nerve. I wish you would never say nothing. I wish you wouldn't open your mouth. That's iniquity. Hidden sin, covered up. Hallelujah. You camouflage. And you have some of these camouflage folk, praise the Lord, who wants to lay hands on people. Class, it ain't gonna work. Don't, don't lay no hands on people if you don't like them. If you don't like the person, amen, keep your hands in your pocket. Because you, when you lay hands on yourself, praise the on an individual, it's a transferring. The laying on of hands means to transfer. So whatever is in you, you transfer it right on to the next individual. And if you got dislike tied up in you, you pass dislike right on to the other individual. And then I got to fight with the demon I had before and your demon. Hallelujah. When you lay hands on people, you got to be very careful. Make sure your heart clean. Make sure you pray. Make sure you fast a little bit. Hallelujah. Make sure, glory to God, there's no iniquity in your heart. Lord, have mercy. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is, a, this is serious. This is a serious thing we're doing here. Hallelujah. Praise the, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We, we just don't lay hands to lay hands on people just to be doing something because we don't have nothing else to do. When I lay hands on you, I want to get results. I don't want you walking out here with the same thing you came in here with. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, sis. Come on, sis. Therefore, God, even thy God. Therefore, God, even our God. 
hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness. Listen, God has anointed you. Hallelujah. Grab somebody's hand and say, he has anointed me. Lord have mercy. Every one of us in the air, praise the Lord, that's filled with the Holy Ghost, God has anointed you. Come on, glory to God. And some of us don't have the Holy Ghost, but we're still anointed. Hallelujah. Because when you get around people that is anointed, the anointing will fall on you. He has anointed us with the oil of gladness. Hallelujah. I'm so glad I'm here tonight. Oh God. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not regretting anything. But I'm glad I sacrificed this hour to be here. Lord, have mercy. Come on. What time is it? What's that? 7.35. Oh, 7.30. All right. All right. All right. All right. I thought my wife said 8.30, man. Bring it up. We, God has anointed us. Grab somebody's hand and tell them he has anointed me with the oil of gladness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, man. I don't have no sadness in me. I don't have no regret for the time I spent in church. Lord have mercy. I came yet, glory to God. I came young, but I'm still I'm glad that I'm here. Lord have mercy. God has been good to me. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Glory to God. I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm so glad that God looked beyond all of my faults and saw my need. He has anointed me with the oil of gladness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. And he took the God uh, uh, read on her. He has anointed me with the, thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Above my fellows. Those that was raised up with me. Hallelujah. Grab somebody hands and those that was raised up with me. Those that we grew up together. Some of them is dead. Hallelujah. But I'm still alive. Praise the Lord. Let go to God. Let God.
know it, I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm ready to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go grab somebody's hand and say, This is foundational truth. No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. Everyone that rises up against me in judgment shall be condemned. For this is the heritage of a child of God. Foundational truth. Teach us tonight. Foundational truth. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't get away from foundational truth. Praise the Lord. It pops up any time. It comes everywhere. Hallelujah. It's something God steps on and says, that's my truth. I can stand on it. Amen. Just grab somebody's hand and say, you can stand on the truth. You can stand on the truth. Everything is going down but the word of the Lord. The truth is going to stand in it. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebrews, hallelujah. Did I, did I get to Hebrews? <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hebrews uh, 1 and 1 and 10. Did you get there? No, I'm going to stay Oh, read, dog. And thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundation Whoa. of the earth. This is what it says. But thou, Lord, in the beginning. In the beginning. When he said, and let there be. Uh -huh. And there was. Yes. In the beginning, when they recorded, start recording time. But remember, God was before time. Yes. 